Oh yeah, I got married by the way, so. I got married about a month ago on July 9th and my husband proposed to me in January. So we only had about five, six-ish months to plan and get a wedding dress and everything. And usually if you're getting a wedding dress, they recommend like eight, eight to nine months to order your wedding dress and for alterations and everything. But since we were working on a Shorter time frame, I got my dress from Brilliant Bridal, which is where you can get your dress off the rack. So I was able to leave with the dress that day. And they work really well with your budget. My dress was in the 1000 to 2000 range, and I was like, can we try and bring that down as much as we can? Because we tried to do our wedding on a pretty low budget. Getting a dress off the rack was a really good option. If you've seen my last video, you know that I clearly had a style that I was looking for. I really loved the v-neck, a-line, kind of ball gown, sort of. I loved florals, I loved ivory. It's pretty much all the same dress, just not it. Finally, the very last dress I tried on was my wedding dress. I was so tired, I was warm, I was sweaty, I was tired, I was hungry, I was thirsty, I was dehydrated, I was dizzy. I was so ready to go home, but I wasn't sure if I had found that dress. And finally, my bridal stylist brought up a couple more dresses. She was like, any of these pique your interest? Like, are you interested at all in any of these? And then I just kind of peeked at them. It only took me a second to look at that dress, and I was like, oh, I." I think I want to try this on. My face, right when I put it on, it just tells you everything. Glitter. Really oh, pretty. Oh, I think she likes it. <laughs> what if I'm so dumb on? <laughs> I feel like it's got your like vibe from like, yeah. the other one, but it's like less like. How does is it like? White, how does it feel on top comfortability wise? Yeah. So, well, I really like this one. Mmm. The different spots Ooh. of lace. That skirt oh, is and it's got so some, like, pretty. Flowers like coming out too. Yeah, yeah. a veil, of course. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Gonna go garden on you. I know. I kind of like them. It's soft too. Fall out. Sorry. I like this veil a lot. Mm -hmm. Finally, when I put on dress B, I was just a little bit taken aback. It had the detailing, the floral. This dress was the most floral dress that I tried on. I love that the flowers stuck off the dress. It even had branches. It literally was a garden, and that was exactly what I wanted to go for. Mm -hmm. Here, let's get the details in here. Yes, let's see it. Oh, wow. I love this so pretty. And you can just tell that you love it too. Yeah. The girls I went with to find the dress really, really loved this one. They loved it on me. It was a little bit different than all the other dresses I tried on. Of course, we were gonna take in that deep V a little bit because I didn't want to be too scandalous at all. But honestly, what I think made my mind keep going back to this was that it was a little bit different than everything I kept trying on. I thought about doing a really fancy extra veil with like pearls on it, or lace all over the end, but because my dress just kind of had it all, I only really needed to do a simple veil. And I got my veil from Etsy. It was only like $40, so I got to save a lot of money there because sometimes veils are like $200 or more. And I'll just link it in the description below. And the jewelry I wore was literally just my rings and then these earrings that I borrowed from my sister-in-law, Sophie. So for my shoes, I really wanted to wear something classic. So I found these pointed toe flats with like a sling back from all, no, not all though. These are from ASOS and I found them online because I had just like the perfect idea for what the shoes would be in my mind and I could not find them anywhere. So thank you for ASOS for having those shoes. So that was my dream wedding dress. Thank you Brilliant Bridal for helping me find it. 
Anyways, that is all I have for this video. I really hope you liked it. If you haven't seen my dress shopping video, you can go ahead and just watch that right somewhere here, um, also on my channel. And I will let you go. That's all I have. So I'll see you guys in the next one.